there, it's Shale's World back again. I'm here with my brother Dylan's Universe. You might know him from a few of his videos. And today I'm going to be showing you a video called What is in Typhoons? Now, leave a thumbs up and subscribe on this video to see more videos by the Shale channel. And let's get started. Alright, so number one on this list is sea anemones. So, sea anemones are these little green guys. They're actually alive, and they like to eat um, dead crabs, alive crabs, and little fish. Now when you touch these guys, they close up like that, and that's how they eat their food and protect themselves. Their tentacles bring it to the little hole inside of them, in their mouth right here, if you can see that little hole right here. And that's where their digestive system is, and they'll eat it. Now, now let's get to the next thing on our list, which is going to be... Alright, the next thing on our list is sea urchins. So, sea urchins are these purple guys that like to live in tadpoles and they are alive uh, and make sure that you do not touch these because you never know which ones are poisonous and which ones are not poisonous. They are actually plants. Alright, so now we'll be, we will be not plants, they are actually related to sand dollars. Alright, moving on to the next thing in our video. Next up on this video is sea snails. Sea snails, you might notice, look almost exactly like snails, except they come in a different variety of colors, and the inside of their shell are actually sparkly. And you can see the ring right here. They will be stuck to places on rocks, and you shouldn't disturb them. If you're wondering why we did, it's because this is the making of a video. Now, my brother Dylan's world is going to explain the next thing on our list. Hello, you guys. It's Dylan Universe. And see, right there, it's a fish. Now, touch it. Move. I don't know exactly what type that fish is, but I know for sure that it's a fish. And see you guys for Shailen. Alright, this is really a really rare instance, but we're going to have to go back to sea snails because we, we're seeing one moving right now. Ooh. And there's another sea snail right here. But anyway, moving on to the next thing on our list, we're moving on to barnacles. These little guys here are barnacles. They're extremely hard to move, and you shouldn't move them. They are alive and they actually like to eat the algae off of rocks. And not really much about them. All right, next thing. If you don't know what mussels were, you were probably wondering what these are. These are actually mussels. No, clams. not the, yes, not clams, and not the type of, in your body, but they are a type of mollusk that like to hang on walls. You shouldn't disturb them. On the inside is meat and flesh. Lots of flesh. Trust me, I looked inside of one and it was gross. Yeah. Anyway, that's all for mussels. Now, moving on to the next thing on our list. Alright, next up on this list is sea plants. This, there are many sea plants in a tide pool. If you've ever been to one, you would know. This is one of them. There are many types, like this one, and this one, and this green type. There's also, on rare occasions, this one. It looks like dreadlocks floating in the water. Alright, did you pause it? Different shapes and stuff, sizes. 
sizes. And variety. Yep, but you should never take them from their home because starfish go through a lot of work to find them. And it's a lot of work to find them again. All right, get ready for the next thing on our list. Sometimes, but very rarely, you can find hermit crabs in these high poles. Unfortunately, we were not able to find any, but let me just tell you how rare they are. Let's put it this way. I was able to find a starfish in these, but I was not able to find a hermit crab. Anyway, these hermit crabs from the outside may look like just a regular old sea snail. Now, we cannot go picking up every sea snail we find trying to look for hermit crabs, but we can see them moving across the tide pool floor. It is? Anyway, that's all for this video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe on this video and ring the notification bell to know when we make our new videos. It will pop up on our, on our YouTube homepage. Now, hope you enjoyed the video. We worked a lot on it. And see you guys later on the Shalen's World channel. Bye-bye there.